Good evening guys, it's uh, Sunday evening, it's a happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and I've had a haircut, I've been to mum's and uh, next thing I know I'm sitting in the chair and she's going with the clippers <coughs> Well I don't half feel better though uh, Anyway I didn't make a video yesterday, well I did but I just chose to start again tonight because I didn't really do anything yesterday. I didn't really do a lot today apart from go to mum's. Had a nice roast dinner, roast pork this week, uh, which is actually one of my favourites. Chicken and pork. I'm not a lover of beef. I actually used to be, but nowadays not so much. Yes, I've got my shirt off for two reasons. One, because I've got gravy all down the front, <laughs> and two. Because I had my hair cut, I'm all itchy, so... Now, I actually woke up this morning and found that my internet and telephone had been suspended because Naughty Boy here hadn't paid the phone bill. And of course, because I was actually hoping they wouldn't do that until during the week, or whatever, so I could actually pay it Thursday, I didn't keep enough money back. But... My stepdad did very kindly pay it for me this afternoon when I got there, so it should be all connected or reconnected by now. Um, anyway, uh, that Dorman 360 road lamp and the Colt I've paid for, that's being posted tomorrow. I've still got the red JSP mini light to arrive. The doorman that I've been watching for the past two weeks did not sell for a second time and the seller, Betty Swallocks, has relisted it and dropped £5 off the price. It's now 9 99 so I'm going to jump on that this weekend. Um, that's more of an acceptable price to me for that sort of lamp. I think... I think they were trying their luck, to be honest, at $17.99, the price it started at. Uh, but I'm actually, now it's dropped to that price, I wouldn't be surprised if I have a bit of competition. Uh, yeah, never mind. I may actually jump and get the Permic he's got as well, the Permic lamp. I don't know. I'll decide that later. Right. I've got notification here. Disable apps to help improve performance. Ooh. Oh, I see. I can disable them in Task Manager. There's one, I don't even know whether to disable or enable some of these. Oh, that's not enabled anyway. There's one that's called File Association Helper. Oh no, it's en enabled. Microsoft LifeCam Device A. How do you disable it? Ah, right click. Ah, there we go. So if, in case anyone is actually wondering how you do this in Windows 10, you just go up to right click, disable, doink. <laughs> well, I don't believe, I don't know what file association helper is, I've never used it. Microsoft Soft Life Cam, I don't really use, so I've disabled that one. Nvidia, I better keep going. There's one labelled none here for AVG. We really need to keep that going, I think. Power ISO. Disable that. That doesn't need to be running. I might actually get some bloody... a bit more speed on my um, PC when it uploads. Windows Mobile Device Center. Disable that as well. Fuck it. Disable that and all. Is there any more? No. 
those are just the ones on startup. Why are some of them starting up? I don't need them to start up. Uh, apparently, it does wave around, it's wave around, so we'll say between 15 and 8% of the um, utilization. utilization. <laughs> Four cores. What about my me memory? 1.9 get nearly two gigabytes in use and I've got six gigabytes of... really this is using nearly two gigabytes on idle why that there, there there's got to be something wrong there my brother's Windows 10 laptop actually uses a gigabyte on idle I'm using almost two gigabytes It's not really a problem because I've still got six gigabytes available, but still, why? That just doesn't seem right. right well, I think I've got that sword. Let's click on a browser and see if I can actually get online. I hope so. Yay! Reconnected. I didn't think it would take that long. It doesn't usually once you've paid your bill. About an hour, maybe two. Just depends um, on their system, I suppose. How long it takes for it to register a payment's been made. Because I guarantee it's pr probably uh, all automatic. Why am I trying to plug in a bloody laptop charger to the camera? <sighs> I'm going to pull out this cable just in case. Oh, and I've had really bad guts since about 6 o'clock this morning. I haven't been to the loo since about an hour or so ago. Ish. Uh, but yeah, I've really had bad guts this morning. All right. So hopefully tomorrow my JSP mini light will arrive. And I might rearrange those screws up there. Bring this end one a bit closer to this one and put another one up there so I can hang some more up. Maybe another one or two. But if I get if I win that red doorman next week end, I'll put it up there with the other ones. <sighs> Well, the only thing I really did yesterday was play with some of these old laptops. Um, Cone Collector left a comment on my last video talking about my HP Pavilion and how he prefers IBM Lenovo. And uh, that sort of just inspired me to bring out this one and see if I can, or could, I should say, find the drivers I needed for this. And... I believe the only ones that were missing were the audio and graphics. Found both of those on the same website. Graphics driver works perfectly on this. Audio driver doesn't want to install for some reason. I know I've downloaded the right one off the website, and so I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'll have to look into that. So yeah, I've had a bit of a play around. I was playing with my Dell Latitude as well, CPX. That's why that's not there. Found my Windows 98 boot disk inside it. I knew I'd left it somewhere. What did I do with that one? It's over there. I was just going to put some of these laptops back. Um, laying there, I've got one M700 with an, um, a Compaq Armada M700, I should say. I'll get to this in a minute. Um, uh, but on top of the M700 is the Armada E500. That's my Windows 2000 Armada E500. The Windows 98 one is behind me, the one I play Theme Hospital on. The mouse pad has decided it doesn't want to work and has always had a problem with the Ethernet not working 
I've got two boards for the Ethernet over here, so I can swap those. Uh, with the mouse pad, the buttons work, you know, the clicky buttons work, it's just the actual trackpad doesn't. Um, it used to, so I don't actually know what's, what's failed there. Anyway, as I said, I've also got two of these Armada M700s. Now I've got to put the Windows 98 drivers on that one, which I can still get from the HP website. But for some reason, when I got them both working, when I got them in that job lot la last year, I put Windows 98 on both. Well, this one somehow lost a file so it wouldn't boot into Windows 98 properly. So at first I thought, I could put Windows Millennium on it, you know, I haven't got a laptop with Windows ME on it. And that wasn't going to work, because when I went on um, a driver search to see if I could actually find drivers for Windows Millennium for this laptop, it wasn't in the list. Every other operating system was, all the way up to Windows XP from Windows 95, except Windows ME. So I decided to turn it into a Windows 2000 laptop. So, I've now got one Armada E500 on Windows 98 and one on Windows 2000 and the same with my M700s. So, I'm happy. Now, before this battery decides to die, hopefully, I did go to the dump today and I did pick up this one, as is, £3, a Barracuda Bamsi. I presume that's how you pronounce that. Bam C, you know, B A M S double -E, -E. Um, <coughs> No wheels. Biggles bought a pair of wheels that was with this. Um, I don't know if he said he bought it, bought them today or yesterday, but uh, he's not sure if they actually came with this because they had discs on, brake discs on, but this doesn't have disc um, brake calipers, so I'm not sure if they actually went with this one or not. I'm not too fussed because. I've pretty much bought this for parts for now, um, mainly because I want those forks in my claw, because they are knackered in my claw, these are a bit stiff, I mean I pushed them down they stayed there, so what I'm going to do is overnight soak them in some WD before I try and compress them anymore and get them stuck even further. <laughs> Hopefully free them off, and then maybe if I get a chance tomorrow, I can take the handlebar off and the stem and just drop those forks out and go and put them in the claw. I hope. <laughs> but I think eventually I will do that frame. If I've got a hanger down there, if not I will just use it as spares. Because this hasn't got a derailleur hanger. <laughs> See, broken. It's got a piece of it there. No, it's actually just got the bolt there. But my pot that has my hangers in is in the kitchen, so in a little while I will uh, just go grab those and see if one fits. This sort of frame does have sort of a relatively common size, usually in my experience. Now I've said that, this is probably going to be different. I've got some nice metal pedals, that's quite a nice colour as well, I actually quite like it. It's just a shame it's not on my sort of style of frame, to be honest. But, uh, I don't know. It might be one of those that'll turn into a do I keep it or do I sell it kind of bike or... I don't know, it's not going to have any forks in it for a while anyway. Oh, and that black and red one that I didn't get last week was still there this week. <laughs> that was tempting, but I looked at it again and even the frame wasn't really that good. <laughs> It really isn't. It wants just to be picked up and put in the um, scrap bin, really. That would be the best place for that. Oh, fuck. I've left my antacids in Mum's car. <laughs> Shit. I don't think I've got a tray here. I don't think I'll need them, but I think I can manage for tonight. I should see Mum tomorrow. Uh, 
sure I still had some in the tray in this la lounge somewhere. I'm sure I did. That's my pills. I'm going to take one of my pills. I don't know what's gotten into my guts. So ever since I ate those um, Rustler's um, barbecue rib things, not the burgers, the barbecue rib things, uh, I've had really bad guts. <laughs> Even though I'm a minor bit of gut ache this morning, which uh, just, well, every time I went it got better and better. But it is annoying. Well, it's not doing my roids much good either. It's really, really fucking agitated at the minute. Yes, I do have hemorrhoids. Or piles, if you prefer to call them. Because... of straining to go to the loo. So my medical advice for tonight, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, is... If you have to strain to go to the loo, don't. <laughs> I just wish the doctor had told me not to do that before, not afterwards. And this is what I'm after in this box. Some of these, I'm hoping, I'm hoping one will fit. I'm not going to bolt it on because the likelihood is when I store the frame it's going to get snapped anyway. So. I don't think that one will. This is just my tub of odds and sods. Actually, as I'm sat back here, if you just bear with me a second, I'm going to plug this in. Like that. It's just a tub of odds and sods. You know, I've got shims. Uh, top parts for seat post. Bolt and clamp for a stand, bits for seat posts, springs for the old style brake calipers you got on racing bikes and whatnot. You've got these, that bolt underneath your seat post. A couple of them, there's another one. We've got seat post clamps, nice quick release one here. All sorts. I well, know I've got a few more um, of those hangers in here as well. Somewhere. There we go. There's another one. Most of them are the same bloody shape. It's just, they're not... Most of the time, if you get a bike like that from down the recycle centre, most of the time, they are going to be broken. Or missing. Or perhaps missing because they did broke break and someone tried to replace it. They can be oh I've got three of them. That's a rather rusty one though. I'm the one that's seized up, so I don't actually know why I've got that in there. Never hurts to go through your supplies every now and again and get rid of the junk. I mean there's an old-fashioned one that's been painted. Oh, no, I've got more than four. Five. There is a sixth one in here and I've seen it, but I've left it in here because I know for a fact that won't fit. Anything there? No, I think I got rid of most of it. It's that one. I know that one won't fit. Right. It's a bit loud bashing these around, isn't it? Oh. Well, that's not meant to be in there. That's a spacer. Handlebar spacer. It's meant to be in my box of uh, bits related to that. Oh. Bloody torch, do I? Here we go. That'll keep me busy in a little while. 
Hoi! Uh, I did go online at Mum's. She's got her laptop. It's actually working rather well at the moment, despite having such little RAM. I'm surprised, but it seems to be working uh, okay for what she does and uses it for. For now, I'll give it a week before something goes wrong with it. Do not reply. We are pleased to advise you that your broadband service has been resumed. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, it's a phone number. But considering how much he's dropped the price on there, I might as well get it on there. Do that. I'm gonna uncheck that. And I just archived a lot, not deleted it. Dickhead. <sighs> Delete those. Right. YouTube. Helps to plug the charger in at the mains. I actually completely forgot I'd unplugged it, but it's we're, we're powered up now. Dipstick. Great. Let me go on there. Oh, what's Big Clive been pl playing with now? A less deadly LED toadstool light build. Okay. Two notifications. Twin brother is starting a channel. Things moving by themselves. Oh, yes. I'm going to be doing something um, new on this channel. I'm going to be purchasing cheap circuit kits from Hong Kong and uh, building them myself. One, because I want to practice soldering and actually building up circuits so I'd have a bit more confidence at actually fixing a broken circuit board. You know, taking the old part off, putting the new part on. Um, and secondly, I just want to build circuits like that anyway. So, what I've done to make filming that easier is on the shelf right above me here, if I just turn you around. I've put a bracket for the camera. It's just one of those um, sort of angled brackets I've got crap loads of with the hole in the front there made big enough for the bolt. Had to drill it to uh, make it a little bit bigger, it's a bit too small. And then the camera will just mount up there and point down at the desk. Uh, but the first one that should arrive, that I'm going to attempt, is just a simple doorbell circuit. Um, it is just your basic, you know, you press the button, it goes ding, you let go of it, it goes dong sort of thing. Um, 66 pence it cost me free shipping so even if it doesn't arrive from Hong Kong who cares <laughs> 
So as soon as I arrive, that's going to happen. I've got a cheap, simple little um, digital LED clock as well. Uh, and I'm actually watching a few other circuits that I want to get and build as well as a six segment, uh, not six segment, six digit LED clock. I'd like to get that one as well. Because I do actually plan, once I've got it built and working, I will hang it somewhere so um, it will be used. Might even hang the little one somewhere so I can use it. Why is eBay recommending me e-juice? I don't vape. <laughs> I've never even searched anything related to vape. And it's recommending me banana, strawberry, e-juice. E-liquid e-juice. Okay. Whatever. Hmm. Someone's selling some sort of small job lots of Lego. That's tempting. 20 hours left, no bids. I'll just see what other items she's got. I'll assume it's a she. Five pounds for um over 500 grams and they've, she's got three lots ends tomorrow and I've got the cash for it but I'm not really sure I hate to say it but some of the figures look fake and that's meant to be the Incredible Hulk and it hasn't got the Incredible Hulk head hmm Nope, that is a genuine figure. Oh, it's not the Incredible Hulk, it's just a green suit. Stand corrected then. Hmm. It does just look like random bricks. Hmm, There's a couple of rare bricks in that one. Including one that I would need. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> shave again, don't I? Right. Pour myself a cola. Put this bottle that I pinched off of Mum in the fridge because I forgot to get some in Lidl's today. I also forgot to get a couple of tins of cat food. Was just Thankfully there was enough in the tin for tonight and he's got biscuits as well. What are you chasing? Actually, speaking of chasing the damn flies in Mum's kitchen, the f she put new fly paper up this afternoon. Within an hour, there was like a, a eight flies that had already landed on it. There. Spit that again. <laughs> and they've got one of them electric rackets as well. 
That's actually quite fun to get them little bastards with. Oh, I think flies have got to be the most annoying creature on the planet. I really do hate them. I hate them more than... I don't know. But I just do hate them. It was a bit close. That's because it was a bit close. Alright. I did have a headache, but that seems to have gone. Um, I left my Toshiba laptop that I loaned Mum there. So, if they ever do need a spare, there's one there to go to. She said it hadn't actually turned itself off for a couple of days, so... It might have just been one of them random things. I'm so glad he didn't use his claws. <laughs> That would have hurt. He has done it before. That does hurt. Well, if I'm lucky in the morning, I'll get a nice lamp on being delivered by the nice postman. If not, probably Tuesday. And in theory, how the post has been lately, if that guy posts those other two off tomorrow, as he says, I should get them Wednesday. Right. Oh, and during the week, I'm going over to Mum's because uh, Stepdad wants to completely gut the workshop and redo the floor. Uh, probably patch the ceiling instead of redo it all. Because where the roof had leaked, it ruined quite a lot of the um, sort of like that fiberboard shit that you get on the back of wardrobes and whatnot. Um, yeah, pretty much ruined that, so he's ripped part of it down, because we were trying to find the leak. And as the ceiling was ruined anyway, we just figured, well, we might as well just rip that down and replace it. Um, and he wants the electric sorted out properly with some properly fitted sockets and whatnot. They are properly fitted, but I think he just wants them tidied up. Uh, which isn't a problem. Because he is thinking of repaneling the walls as well, but the first thing he wants to do is uh, sort the floor out. Because he went through it again the other day. It's right up the far end, opposite end to where the door is. That's the worst area. It really is uh, soft and spongy up that end. And uh, yeah, he did go through it. So hopefully tomorrow he's going to get the panels for that. Um, I don't think we'll get to laying them Tuesday because we've got a lot of stuff to move out of the way. So that would probably prob probably be Tuesday's job. But I don't mind going over. It's either that or I'll just sit here picking my nose for the next three days because I've got no bikes to do. Unless I decide to put those forks in that frame in my claw during the week, then... Well, I could do that tomorrow, actually. It's only a... Uh, should only be... 20 minute job, max. Because it's just the matter of undoing the three bolts that hold the stem to the bike. Uh, take the handlebars off. Drop the forks out. Put these ones in the bike. Put the wheel in. Don't have to disconnect the brake cable. I can just uh, take the caliper off and bolt it back on this. I've got to cut the uh, cable tie though. Because there was no guide on those forks I put in the bike for the um, brake cable. So I had to put a um, zip tie around it. Which I thought was quite odd. Don't. Yeah, this bike's got them, so I may actually. Um, make use of the um, cable guide on this one so I may disconnect the brake cable but that's not a problem I've um, got a cable end and I've got wire cutters here and whatnot so yeah it shouldn't take me much more than 20 minutes to do that unless I have to swap the um, 
can't remember what they call it, but it's like a circular thing on the forks that the bear is sitting. I may have to swap those. But, uh, yeah, I think those forks would look rather nice. I'm tempted to paint the rims up that are in the claw as well. <laughs> Either that or find a better looking black pair to put in there. No doubt I'll come across a pair at some point. It just depends if I can actually be asked to sit there and uh, paint the rim by hand, because I would have to. Because if I spray it, I'm going to get all the spokes. And I am not masking up all them spokes. So I'll... Possibly do it by hand. Shouldn't come out too bad on that rim because it's quite smooth anyway. I don't know. Or well, like I said, I could just wait until I find another pair. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off because I've got nothing else that I want to talk about, I don't think. I think I covered everything in about half an hour's worth of video. Uh, yeah. I think Mr. Nemo here wants some cuddles because uh, <laughs> he's going to miss me during the week. Here we go. Right, I'm going to shut the camera down and. Uh, Take my pill as well, I mustn't forget that. I'm going to take my evening pill. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, hopefully talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.